Hey everybody, welcome in to my YouTube video series here at Pragmatic Works, all about universal design in Power BI tips to help start making your reports far more accessible to all walks of users that are either building or intaking your reports. My goal is to introduce some tips that you can start using today to elevate your reports no matter what audience is going to be consuming or creating them. I'm super looking forward to this series because I really do believe in the power of universal design and what it means for making your reports a lot better. Now, if you are familiar with the concept of universal design, it's a concept that is all about making our reports the best for everybody, no matter what accessibility needs they might have, whether it be physical, emotional, uh, vision, you name it, right? We don't need to specifically define needs related to that because our goal with universal design is making a final report that everybody can consume and really enjoy. Today, I wanna to introduce you to one of my favorite tips, and this is something that's gonna be a game changer for you. It's called key tips. Let's jump into it. So. What are key tips? How can we utilize them in our reports? Well, key tips are essentially something on the ribbon level navigation in the Power BI desktop, as well as in the Power Query Editor, where if we press the Alt button on our keyboard, we're gonna have these key tips appear. And you can see in the image above me here, a bunch of numbers and letters are appearing. These little boxes are your key tips. Essentially, what you can do is you can click on Alt and then go one, two, three, F, H, I, M, V, you name it. Whatever letter is shown is gonna to correspond to a certain item that you could have clicked with your mouse. Now, what this allows for is, let's say you are having issues using that mouse or you can't use that mouse. That's totally okay. You've got key tips right there for you. And honestly, I often find key tips are sometimes a faster way to navigate and build my reports. I truly do love them. For example, if I press V here in this image, that would allow me to navigate to the View tab. You'll also notice that the key tips are pretty much associated hand in hand with anything that is the starting letter in that report. So if you wanna get rid of those key tips, you can press Escape and then that'll help you navigate through them. It's not only in the Power BI desktop, it is additionally going to be here in the Power BI, uh, the Power BI Power Query Editor. So we'll also find it here in the Power Query Editor. In the Power Query Editor, we can also press Alt and we're gonna have more key tips. Now the key tip view here isn't gonna be as user experience like flashy. It's more to the point, it's a little bit more grayed out, right? That's the Power Query Editor but you're gonna have a similar amount of commands that you can use. In this case here in the image I'm showing now, you might press S and then P. That would initiate a split column. And then you can use tab and your directional keys on your keyboard to navigate through. To tell you the truth, I have gone about creating my reports without using the mouse at all. It can be done with these key tips. They're a very great feature. Here's a bonus Pragmatic Works pro tip for you. One of the new preview features on object interactions, I find that that makes navigating with just your keyboard a little bit easier. So if you are using this accessibility feature, I definitely suggest turning on in the options, the preview settings, that on object interactions. It does just, it feels a little bit more fluid to me. I, I have to have a better experience with it. So. Let's get into a demonstration and actually see how this works. So let's jump into it. All right, y'all, welcome back to the Power BI desktop. Now I can use those key tips. I'm gonna press Alt here and take a peek. Now the key tips are there. So if I wanna go ahead and hit V, I can use that. And from here, I could either continue to use key tips or I might even decide to press Tab and then my directional arrows to navigate here, and now I can look through themes. I'm gonna open up themes here because I wanna showcase another awesome tip here. Pre-made accessible themes by Microsoft, they're here, they're ready. 
you can apply them and they're pretty awesome. I have some interesting stuff about accessible themes that I'll be bringing into this series as well. So now I'm gonna to try to get to the Power Query Editor here. I'll use T to navigate on over. I also could use Tab here and the directional arrows to find my way if needed. Another great thing to keep in mind. I'll enter that here and boom, I've opened up the Power Query Editor and I can navigate with those key tips here additionally. So if I press Alt, I still have that key tip interface. If I wanted to, let's say I wanted to go to T to transform. Maybe I wanted to rename bank name. I could press N here. And then I could say, hey, you know what? This is actually my bank institutions. And I could enter that in. There are plenty of other ways to utilize these key tips. Maybe you need to add columns. Again, you can use the key tips, but you also have tab and the directional arrows to assist you. And you can kind of see here, grayed out a little bit, me navigating across all the interesting spaces there. This is a very impactful way for you to be able to navigate the Power Query Editor as well as the Power BI Desktop utilizing these key tips. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of the Power Query Editor here. We don't need to save those changes for now. But these are two great ways that you can help build your reports without the use of a mouse. It's much more accessible. And to tell you the truth, that tab level navigation we did as well is equally as impressive when it comes to actually navigating visuals themselves. So I hope you try it out, give it a shot, and share the word about those key tips. They are an ultimate game changer when it comes to accessibility. Having said that, that's gonna wrap up this YouTube video for now, our first part in the Universal Design series where I'm gonna give you tons of accessibility tips and tricks to make your reports more universally designed. This has been Greg with Pragmatic Works. Can't wait to see y'all in the next one. Have a great one.